Welcome back to another NoCode.Tech tutorial and in this one I'm going to be showing you how you can build your own travel app a little bit like Airbnb and we're going to be doing that in one of my favourite mobile app builders, Adalo. Now this is going to be a little bit different from some of the other builds you've seen in terms of complexity. This is by far one of the most complex builds that we've got on the website and it's not necessarily that it's hard um, or difficult, it's more just that there's a lot to do um, and that's because we're creating a two-sided marketplace. Um, we're going to have the ability for guests to come in and book an apartment, browse an apartment, pay for an apartment and we're also going to have the ability for hosts to upload an apartment and manage their bookings. So it's a little bit more complicated than most and um, in theory, you could split this into two different apps, have one for guests, have one for hosts, but I quite like having it all in one, although we do have other videos on that if you want to learn how to do it. Now, a couple other things to mention. Um, number one, this is this is one of the first tutorials that I've seen um, building Airbnb on Adalo, and that's not necessarily because it is um, difficult per se, but it's because there's a couple of key limitations that make it pretty hard to build the exact replica of Airbnb that you know and love. So if I come on here to my app, now this is just a basic screen where I can pick um, you know, the different apartments I want to stay at. Clearly it's a search for London and then we've got these two uh, apartments here. I know it's not the prettiest design, um, I'm certainly not a designer um, and didn't want to spend too much time on that, but we do have uh, videos that will teach you how to make a dialogue look beautiful. But if I pop in here and hit book stay, let me show you the first limitation. Um, now, on a little screen like this, you would expect to be able to see um, you know, all the dates that are available. Because there's nothing crossed out here, you would expect that I can hit 1, I can hit 29, and that will let me select those dates. Similarly, if I click through to me, where I've already put in a booking, I've got this little line here that might indicate these dates are already taken. Well, in actual fact, um, Unfortunately, this calendar component will not let me select dates. If I try and click them, I just get this agenda view. And so instead, what I have to do is let the user see the availability manually by looking here. And then I need to ask them to actually put in the specific days that they want. Now, you'll notice the dates that were picked were the 15th through to the 29th of May 2021. And uh, that's what I've currently got selected. If I hit select dates and come in here, it's not going to stop me trying to book. I'll be able to come right into this card number part, uh, a part here and uh, put in whatever I like. So that's a little bit of a problem. Um, and I'm going to resolve that in this app build by making sure that the host has to manually approve um, every selection that goes through. But I can't lie, that is a pretty big limitation. Um, and it's caused by a couple of things. Number one, the calendar component doesn't support the ability to create events within it. Um, and number two, and perhaps more importantly, Adalo um, doesn't currently have a way that I can search within date limits. And what I mean by that is, um, I have a database collection called Stays, which refers to um, the beginning and end date of each booking. And what I cannot do is search that entire database at once to say, okay, has anybody booked between the 15th of May and the 29th of May for this database, uh, sorry, for this apartment? Um, if they have, then don't allow the booking. But if they have not, brilliant, it sounds free, put the booking in. I cannot do that at the minute, which means, in other words, I cannot prevent a user from uh, booking over an already booked date, which means I have to go down here to the host and let them confirm or deny it by looking at the, the availability themselves. It's a little bit of extra work for your host, but you know, in the early days, hopefully it's not too much of a problem. Um, now, a couple of things to mention on that as well. I think number one, uh, Adalo are likely to update this calendar component really, really soon. I know that Adalo themselves were working on a template for Airbnb and so likely they've run into this issue and I imagine it's pretty high on their list to fix. Um, number two, speaking of high on their list to fix, they do have an actual list of things to fix and funnily enough, one of the main limiting factors here is the absolute top item on that list. You can find that at ideas.adalo.com. So I expect uh, in the future, we're going to be uploading a fresh video saying actually this is how you can make it work. Um, and then one last thing to add on that, in general with no code, there is always going to be a way to make this work. For example, 
you could use an external database like Airbnb, uh, sorry, Airbnb, <laughs> like Airtable um, to host your uh, dates information and then you could use a service like Zapier to query that and do the search you need to do. You could then use Adalo's uh, custom actions feature, uh, which we have looked at in the basics of Adalo uh, video, but you could come in here, you could create a custom action um, that essentially sends an API call off there and does a bunch of other complicated stuff to get the dates. I didn't want to show that because I felt it was too complicated on top of an already complex build, but the key message here is that ultimately it may seem restrictive and, and in some respects no code is about caveats and about um, finding uh, you know the, the best way through uh, limitations, but ultimately there is always a way to do something. It's just a matter of how advanced you are and how complex you want to get. Now, if you are uh, you know, fairly technical and pretty comfortable with no code, you might already be thinking about different ways you could do this. And if you really need this functionality, give me a shout and I'll talk you through how I would do it in a more complex way. On the other hand, um, if you're still very, very new to no code, it might not be the best challenge to dive into. You maybe want to stick with the same kind of model that I've built here. So. We'll go ahead and get started anyway. Um, let's just crack open our uh, new app. So I'm going to click up here and I'm going to scroll down and hit create new app. I know you can't quite see that um, just because I've got loads of apps that I've created on Adalo. Um, but I can come in here, I can hit native mobile app. And I'm going to just select a blank template again. You do have lots of templates in here. Um, I'm not too fussed about those, and I'm going to type in Airbnb. Now, you always know it's a complex build when I've got lots of tabs open uh, across the top here, and the first one I want to show you is this website here. It's called US Brand Colors, and it's a pretty handy website which has the brand colors of US companies. So, um, I came in here just to find the, the kind of primary and secondary colors for Airbnb, and I can get the logo here as well, but, um, <coughs> excuse me, you've got this... Uh, little colour here called Roush, Roush maybe, I'm not sure, um, but I can copy that hex code, I'm going to put it in here as my primary colour and that means I'm going to get that nice kind of almost pinkish uh, Airbnb red and then I'm going to come and grab Babu, which is this green here, so I'm just copying and pasting that with control C uh, and then pasting it, sorry, with control V in here. So we've got Airbnb's primary colours. Uh, what mean what this means in, in Adalo is essentially I can stick to the, the colour theme pretty easily. You can see it's immediately styling the top bar, the login button, the sign up button, etc. Um, with uh, with the primary colour and it will use those throughout. At any point you can pop in here to brand it and change those as well. Now one other thing uh, to mention here on our overview, uh, we're going to be using a couple of external components. So if I go up here to add components, Adalo has this really cool uh, place called the Marketplace. And if I load it up, essentially it is going to let me install various different plugins and add-ons to my uh, Adalo instance or my Adalo account. There's a few that I'm using and you can see they're marked as uh, installed. So we're going to need the map. This will let me uh, display a Google map. We're going to need the calendar, which is a component that lets me do that kind of existing availability um, a component that I showed you earlier. We're going to need the image slider because obviously on uh, Airbnb you can have one image of your apartment or you can have 30, but the apartments that always do best are the ones that have got more images and therefore I want to make sure we can support as many images as possible. So we're going to need this image slider. I do have this multi-select drop down, although you don't need that, I just happen to have it installed. But a couple of things that you will need are this star rating um, and actually if you wanted to add uh, you know, various different features like the ability to sign in with Google, um, then you could do that as well. But the last thing that you're going to need is the Stripe kit. Now again, I've got that installed, but that's going to give you the ability to take payments using Stripe. Worth having a wee look through here though, there's a lot of really, really cool stuff. You've got an email validator, for example, uh, which is pretty cool. You can sign in with Apple. Um, so lots of really, really cool stuff that you can grab and download in here. And all you really need to do is hit install and it spins around for a few seconds and then it pops up and says it's installed. Um, and I don't need a stopwatch, I'm just going to take that off. But lots of different things you can do like uh, signature, viewing the days of the week, etc, etc. So um, 
With that in mind, let's jump on to the next video and we'll start setting up our database and building out this Airbnb app.